In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Reputon Customer Review Shopify app. Now, if you want to go ahead and get yourself 10% off and also a 21 day free trial, make sure you install the app with the link in the description. Now, that being said, let's get right into it. So once you've clicked the link in the description, you should be brought to a page that looks like this. You want to go ahead and click install. And from there, it's going to open up your Shopify store. Then we want to click on this install button here and it should be on your store and ready to go. So now inside the app, they're going to have a few bits on the setup guide that you should try out. The first bit is setup review links. So we're just going to go ahead here and click setup. And what we can do, go to the top right hand corner here and we can add links. So the way you can do it is you could add something like Google reviews. And then in here, you would want to go ahead and paste the link to your Google reviews page. For example, on Google, you can go ahead to your reviews page and you can press get more reviews. And it's going to uh, it's going to give you this um, link here, which is a review link. Copy that. And that's what we can go ahead and paste in here. We can click add and then we've gone ahead and added our Google reviews. Now here you can select um, basically how much you want this one to be shown. Uh, let me delete this one. So if you want Google reviews to be shown a higher priority, then you can make this one higher and you can make a different one lower. It needs to add up to 100%, but just basically put a higher slider for the ones that you want to get more reviews on that you favor. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and click save. So that's the first step is to set our review links. Next, we're going to send a test email. So to do that, we just want to go ahead and enable email sending. Press save. It's going to ask you to rate it. I would just press X. And then from here, we can go ahead and basically look at this email, make sure it's OK. And we're going to go ahead and send the test email. Put your email in here. Click send. And boom, it's sent an email to us. So we want to go look at that email, make sure it looks all OK and everything like that. So now that we've done their basic sort of starter stuff, I'm going to show you a bit more about the app, how it all works and how you can go ahead and customize it, that kind of thing. So here we are in the dashboard and the dashboard is going to show you stuff like your statistics, the emails that you've got scheduled, the reviews you've got, any negative feedback. It's going to look at some more analytics here. Some Basically all your data is inside of this app here. We can go over here to settings and this is going to be where we're going to be able to build our main email template. So you can put your store name in here, put your subject line in here. And if you want to, you've got some templates here. So you've got faces, thumbs, stars, smiles. So you can go ahead and add those depending on what you want. Um, you've got an AI personalizer here, which is okay. So this is just going to go ahead and personalize the email. Now, if you don't like it, you can just go ahead, click the reset button. It will take it back to normal. Inside here, it's a pretty simple editor. You've got your text here, you've got dynamic tags. So this here is a dynamic tag, which basically means this will change to somebody's name. So it won't look like that. It will change to the person's actual name. It will also change the product as well. You've got your, um, your ratings here and you've got some other text here. You can go ahead and change this. You can change things like adding images, adding stars. Here are all your different placeholders that you can add in if you want to, stuff like tracking URLs, currencies, all of that. You can go ahead and change the font, because this font by default is not very good. I would recommend changing the font. You've got things like sizing, all of that kind of stuff that you can go ahead and sort of change. Once I have, we can go ahead and preview it, and this is going to be what the email actually looks like itself, um, just like this. You can go ahead and test these links here just to make sure that they actually work. Um, yeah, and you've also got contact buttons, all that, but you can edit all of this, essentially. You've also got a negative feedback form, um, which you can create. And you've got some email restrictions. So customers should receive an email, no more than one email a month. You know, just customize that based upon how much you want to be sending them emails, basically. You can send it for online orders only. Users must opt in if you want to, you can turn on or off. And then you can blacklist some customers. So maybe you have some customers who keep spamming you, put their email in there, click add, and that's going to add them to the blacklist. 
Next up, we've got rewards. So you can actually go ahead and create a coupon code. And we can go ahead and do that inside of our store. So we can go to discounts, add that discount code. And we can set that as an incentive for people to go ahead and actually give us a review so that they can get a discount off the next order, that kind of thing. Now, something to mention or look at is on the right hand side here, we've got email timing. And basically this is when this is basically when you send the email. So the email is going to be sent however many days you can put whatever that this is 14 days by default. It's going to be sent 14 days after the orders fulfilled. You can also change it to the orders delivered, the orders paid, created, or you can do it manually. I'd recommend just keeping it at 14 days after the orders have been fulfilled. It usually works well. And then you can also send an email at the specific time of day. This means that they won't get sent at night time and you can send it when they're more active. So uh, do that because you don't want to be sending emails at 2am because they're not going to open them. You've also got your store language here that you can change. So we can go ahead and press save on that. And over here you can see they recommend using push owl to go ahead and send um, review requests. So if you want to, you can go ahead and install that and configure that up with the app here to make sure that you're sending the request basically. Over here you've got your display of reviews so you can display the reviews that you've got here. Pretty easy to do, just press set up and it's going to get you to configure it with their different apps they have here. We've got the request review section so you can do this manually or you can import a CSV or you can add like a but a QR code, that kind of thing. You can even add a widget on the store. Press add, add widget here. It's going to go ahead and open your store up and you should be able to add the widget to somewhere on your site. And I believe we can just go ahead and yeah, add it as an app like that. And it should show up somewhere. So here we go. Yeah, it shows up there. Nice. We can go ahead and save that. Change the text there if we want to, but that should be ready to go. We've also got our plans here, which is the last thing we should look at. It starts up at free, goes up to $49 a month, and they all have slightly different features on them. Um, also, the amount of emails you can send changes. So depending on what you need, go ahead and select the correct plan. Lastly, they have feature requests here. So if you have a feature you want them to add, you can go ahead and request that in here, and there's a chance they might add it for you. But that's basically how you go ahead and actually use the Reputon Reviews Shopify app. If you found the video useful and you enjoyed it, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Also comment down below that it did help you out. And if you have any other questions about this app specifically or a different Shopify app, let me know down below and I'll go ahead and make a video about that. So thank you and I will see you in the next video.